I'm Tom Handel with another CTN member highlight, and this time we're featuring the Southern Maine Area Agency on Aging. And I'm here with Susan Gold, a VISTA volunteer for one of their new programs, vet to vet Thanks a lot for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. Just to start off with, what is this new program, vet to vet Well, we will be matching veterans, volunteers who are veterans themselves, with other veterans who are older, uh, aging, um, homebound, uh, they may have uh, younger veterans who are disabled or have disabilities. Um, anyone who could benefit from a com uh, some more companionship who are isolated. And these, vo these volunteer uh, companions, they're all veterans that you're looking for? Yes, they're all veterans themselves and they will be visiting um, the veteran client um, t at least twice a month um, and then they'll be calling, uh, checking in on a, on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. um, We'll be having training sessions so they'll be able to assess the veteran's um, situation and see if they can qualify for any other um, services that they might need. What kind of things do you cover in the trainings for the volunteers? Um, well, we'll have a num <coughs> excuse me. We'll have a number of uh, things in the training, uh, including um, listening skills, um, maybe how to elicit uh, stories from the veterans. Um, we'll have uh, assessments. Uh, we'll show them how to do assessments of the situation so that, for example, if somebody might need a food service, we could, they would be able to refer them to our Meals on Wheels program. Um, we'll have uh, the main veterans uh, services talking about VA benefits. And we'll also have the veteran, uh, the vet centers talking about uh, situations that might arise that they, have, they might have to deal with. Wow, so once these vet volunteers are trained, they'll have a lot of information for the people that they'll be working with. Uh, yes. Is this just for aging uh, veterans or is this for any veterans no. that need the assistance? No, it'll be any veteran who would need the assistance. Um, we are also ta aiming at younger veterans who might have some disabilities or feel isolated who, who could benefit from a visitor. I, kn I know um, my father and my father-in-law were veterans and uh, before they pass, they, they sound like they could use a lot of services like this and be very helpful. Why are you specifically targeting um, the volunteers to be veterans, to work with other veterans? Well, we thought that peer-on-peer, uh, peer-to-peer um, -peer, um, would be much more beneficial. Uh, people tend to open up and be able to relate to others who have had the same kinds of experiences. Um, that said, we're trying to match uh, combat veterans with combat veterans. Um, Pe women with women. We have a number of women in the program already, um, and uh, we'll also take into consideration geography, but we're, we're really trying to match them as closely as possible. Now, have you started recruiting already for the volunteers? Yes, we have uh, 17 signed up already. Um, we're, my goal is to get 20 by the uh, first training session, which is May 6th. Um, we will have other training sessions, too, later um, in the year, so people can, will still be recruiting throughout the year. And do you have a certain pool of uh, veterans that need this assistance right now that you're looking to match up with? How big is that pool? Um, right now we have about 20 in that pool, oh. but we, um, or 15 or 20, but we could always use more. We're asking people if they know of a veteran who might benefit from this service to give us a call and uh, let us know about them. Well, it sounds like a really unique program. Is this, is this particular to the Southern Maine Area Agency on Aging, this type of program? Uh, yes, it is. We have based it um, on a VA program that's offered nationally th called, the, I think it's the Friendly Visitor Program. But this is, as far as I know, it's the only one like it in, in this area. And how did you, how did you th that idea develop? How did you come up with this? Well, um, <coughs> one of, <coughs> excuse me, one of our uh, focuses has been ve is veterans services and um, the my manager the manager of the volunteer services uh, Carol Rancourt um, proposed this program and, and SMA embraced it so so oh, that's great it's a unique program studying right here in the, our own area that's it's wonderful now if people want more information about this um, where can they go what can they do well they can contact SMA and um, they can call, they can go on our website, smaaa 3 asorg um, or they can call us directly, 396-6500, and ask for volunteer services. Um, 
or they can call they can email me directly if they would like it's s gold s g o l d at s m a a a dot org and that's for anybody who wants to either be a volunteer or get those services is that right yes okay yes great well thank you very much for joining us thank you my pleasure